Just on this point of CPAC and then the, in the, in the information uh, gap which mm. exists, uh, our Prime Institute has actually published two reports. Um, and it was not hard, it was you know, not easy for us to actually compile all this data. All right. And let's like to share very, very briefly here, Please. just for the benefit of the audience, that um, out of the $46 billion, uh, the CPAC, uh, the $35 billion, which is reserved for the energy projects, uh, is an all in IPB mode again. So it's like an investment, it's, it's not a loan. Uh, it is true that uh, Sorry, as a part- it's a loan. No, no, let me just uh, complete. Uh, so it is true that uh, as part of the energy policy, every IPP which signs up is a 30% equity and 70% debt. All right. But that debt is res it rests with the companies which are executing those projects. That is not a public debt in strict sense. So all the $35 billion is not a public debt. Yes, the eleven billion dollars, which is going to be financed, which is going to finance the roads and infrastructure, that's already uh, had been rolled out, and that is public debt. Oh and no. out of that, about ninety percent will be Chinese, uh, like uh, uh, concessionary debt, and ten percent will be again Pakistani uh, government uh, contribution. So I think this is this needs to be realized that uh, this uh, this will have a different impact. Now, as far as the jobs are concerned those energy projects directly are not going to produce too many jobs. That's true. For instance, uh, Sahiwal coal projects, it's a $1.8 billion uh, project, hmm. which, ha which started actually before CPEC was signed in, but now it's a part of CPEC. All right. Will create about 4,000 jobs, mm -hmm. out of which 3,000 jobs will be Pakistani engineers and laborers, and about 1,000 will be Chinese engineers and um, other technical people. Fine. So you will see that uh, probably the direct job creation effect of CPAC would be not too huge, but the indirect uh, in, in terms of the business opportunities, in terms of the allied industries, for instance, the steel industry, you already have uh, uh, at least uh, two new cement plants which are coming up, uh, which have tied their uh, projections as a result of the, the, the CPAC. You have... Um, other allied construction material um, uh, in industries which have been set up already, which we have mentioned in our, in our reports, which are tied to again uh, the, the projection with the CPAC. So I think this is, this is actually an evolving project and I, I totally agree that government needs to do much better in terms of the information and communication to actually uh, produce a, a definitely much informed image. Uh, All right. And on, on the point of the level playing field, although I agree that uh, there is an apprehension amongst the international community that you know m maybe we have not uh, creating level playing field in terms of foreign direct investment, but then the government says that not much was coming their way uh, except from apart from Chinese. So there is then th this debate is still going on, and, and there is much to be hmm. you know, to be discussed.